give you a few tips today, try and improve your game, not that it needs improving, you look pretty good to me, but we'll try, yeah? Yeah. If you start with the, um, with the grip, how, how to hold the cue, if you want to show me how you hold the cue, that, look, that looks pretty good to me, so what, what, what I want you to do is, this is what I, I, I like to do, is you have the flap, which is the bit that's chiselled out, I like to have that pointing towards the ceiling, because that, that gives me a feeling of boof, going straight through the ball because you always want to make sure you're going as straight as possible and try and not hold it too tight but not too loose you want all the fingers around the cue and basically when you pull the cue back you want to be able to open the back of the hand up a little bit not too much so then you can generate some power going through whereas if it's closed it's a bit too stiff and you don't get as much feel you want to try and keep it as neutral as you can not too round there and not like that just somewhere in the middle and then uh, just trust your ability just to, to get you through it. So, um, you look like you do pretty good to me, so here you go on, yeah? Very good. Very good. Right, come to the stance, which I think is very important because it supports your upper body as well. And what I believe in is having these as square as you can, not too far forward not too far back. Try and keep this leg as straight as you possibly can. So it's angled, straight, not like this, or not like that. Mm. Which will then make sure that your balance is a lot more strong. Try and keep this as straight as you can, like I said, and, and try and feel a strain in, the, in your straight leg. And that will allow you to then fall into the position. And that's, that's now a very strong stance. Mm. So if you want to go ahead, See if you can get into that position. Try and turn this foot in a little bit more to there. Come on, like that. Might feel a little bit uncomfortable at the start. Does that feel uncomfortable for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's bend that one. Does that feel uncomfortable? No. Right with that one? Yeah. We've done the grip, we've done the stance. We're now going to do the bridge hand, which is the one that you put on the table. The most important thing here is to try and get the hand not like this, not like that. Try and keep it as central as you possibly can. And make sure that you can feel the cloth underneath your fingers. So if you want to get ahead and do what I just showed you there. Mmm, perfect. Right, now we've got the bridging sorted out, the basics of, of the bridge hand. We now move on to a little bit about how if you want to screw the, screw the ball back or play the ball with a bit of run, running, which is top on the wire. So if you want to screw back, it's best to have the hand as flat as you possibly can. If you want to follow through, then you just raise the bridge hand a little bit like that, so as you can see your knuckles, and then that will allow your cue to, to be elevated into a higher position which will then allow you to play a run through shot. So if, what sort of shot would you want to play on this, this ball here? Run through, screw back, stunt? Stunt. You want to play a stunt. So that would be somewhere just in the middle, not too flat, not too high. Just a little bit like that. And that will allow you to then just play the shot. Perfect. Right, now we come to the cue action. We've done the grip, done the stance, done the bridge. Now we come to the cue action part. Best thing for the cue action is we've now got to get in position and the cue goes there. We want to forget about the cue now. It's all about what we do. So you want to make sure this arm is completely over the cue, not out there and not like that. Joe Swell plays with his arm like that. John Parrott plays like that. Steve Davis, Stephen Hendry, the two greatest players that have ever played the game, always straight. And you want to keep this as still as you possibly can. Make sure when you're hitting the ball, you hit with the elbow. 
that's the most consistent way of getting a straight, positive, consistent shot every time you play. So if you want to get down into that position and uh, see how that feels. Perfectly straight, you just hit with the elbow. We've got the grip, we've got the stance, we've got the bridge, we've got the cue action. Now we're going to come down to the final part of the shot. We get down, we look at the white, we look at the object ball, we look at the white, we look at the object ball. But this is all flickering from the eyes. What I don't want you to do is white, object ball, white, object ball. It's just a flick of the eyes. You're there, it's set, there's no movement. The last thing you want to be looking at is the object ball. And then you play the shot. Very good. So now we come to the end of our lesson. Do you feel like you've learned anything or picked any tips up that can improve your game? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You look, both look very good players anyway, so I think the most important thing for you to do now is just to trust what you're doing and practice as much as you possibly can and, and be as serious as you possibly can. Take it serious because it's, you know, you could be a future world champion in the period. You know, you could be playing at Sheffield one day in the final against each other. Mm. And I'd have been your first person that give you a lesson, so I could take pride in that and all. So, you know, plenty of practice and good luck to you.